Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars a Galaxy of Heroes, and long time no see, guys. It's been a little bit of time since my last video. It's been about a week, and uh, just going forward, just want to let you guys know that you might know a slight dip in the amount of videos I put out weekly. Um, usually, I always did about two to three videos on a weekly basis. Um, however, I just actually started law school a um, couple uh, just uh, just last week. So between law school and I also have a job outside of law school, um, you might be seeing one video a week, maybe two videos, but I'm definitely going to try to stay true to my one video a week because Friday is my only quote unquote day off from school. I do have work later on, but I should have time to get you guys videos um, and to make sure we're you know we're both staying up to date on this game. So um, so what you're watching right now as I'm speaking here is me leveling and gearing up Ember Palpatine. So I didn't make a video of me unlocking him at five stars, mainly because I, j I already made a video of me getting through the first four tiers. And if you guys watched that video, I um, couldn't do the tier five one because I was short on I was short on um, characters. Uh, the star count, Biggs and Lando, they were still under starred. So I couldn't do the event, but as of today, this video only shows the five star Palpatine. But as of today, I do have a six star Emperor Palpatine and um, soon to be seven. I just got Lando to seven stars. Biggs is, only has about 50 shards more to go until he's at seven stars. So uh, I should be able to get uh, Palpatine to seven stars before um, the event ends. And we don't know just yet how long this event will last for. It says extremely rare. So hopefully you guys who weren't expecting this, this event, maybe the next time it comes around, hopefully soon, you'll be able to um, go ahead and grab him because he is by far my favorite character in this game. He is absolutely superb. Um, in Galactic War, I'm able to just use one squad and most of the time I can just clear the whole thing um, and my characters don't even lose all their protection. I still have some protection left over uh, when getting to the very end. And that's even going up against those monster squads that are very hard to beat. Emperor Palpatine just makes life simple and people haven't been annoying me as much in squad arena. Um, I, there were some days I would just sit in the same spot for 24 hours straight and would not move and it looks like so far the the meta in the top 10 I'm not sure about beyond I don't see this too often but in the top 10 we are seeing Emperor Palpatine leads and Wedge leads as well so uh, what we're gonna do today is kind of uh, not, we're gonna do a couple of squad arena attempts because I already burnt out my Galactic War I'm able to finish it like in 15 minutes it's absolutely crazy with Emperor Palpatine you just shock everyone and about 80% of the battles, no one can attack you because between Royal Guard and Emperor Palpatine and the, the squad that I'm using right now, they just don't have an, a chance to get an attack off. So Galactic War is super easy if you have Emperor Palpatine. And um, I'm guessing if you guys have him and have been using him geared up and start up, you might agree with me on that. So as I was saying, today in Squad Arena, we're going to do uh, a couple of attempts with all Empire characters. So maybe like one attempt with an Empire squad. Um, that's what I was doing right when I got Emperor Palpatine the max gear I just put together my Empire team and They weren't actually that bad now that the bill the abilities that Emperor Palpatine gives it You know it makes them a lot better But I ended up replacing Tarkin and Magma Trooper with Anakin and Rey uh, Because that's what I'm kind of seeing is what's being efficient and it's it's a it's a monster combo So um, I'll go ahead just for fun. I'm gonna show you gameplay with all Empire characters and I'm gonna switch it off and uh, show you what I'm doing with um, with uh, my Anakin and Rey combo going on in the back. So um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this going. I first want to show you what I'm doing with Emperor Palpatine that makes him super super successful for me. So um, as you see, currently at six stars, um, all the gears on him. I just got to get one more star, which we're not too far from. I maxed out all of his abilities because they are just superb. And um, for the stats, let me pull them up here. Um, speed is really important. I don't have any incredible speed mods. I just have ones that are pretty much, uh, they have like secondary speeds uh, that bump it up like maybe 10 or so. I have one speed mod or mod that gives him plus 19 speed. So as you see right now, he's sitting at 193 speed. So most of the time, he's the first one to go in arena, uh, maybe after Ray on the other team. And uh, it's, it's, a real, it's a coin toss. You can either stun major a majority of their team um, or you might just get one. It, it's definitely a coin flip, but more often than not, you are going to stun at least one or two people, which is it's, which is definitely helpful. And um, and then from there, um, the game just kind of rolls. It rolls from there. If you get a good night, if you get a good beginning of Emperor Palpatine, the game it's just a clean sweep. 
his potency is through the roof. So um, I he, with the mods, he got an extra 26% potency. I have a mod that grants plus 24 potency. And with that, his leader ability, I believe, grants, uh, what was it, 32? 32? Yeah, 32% potency. So his potency is over 100%. So it feels like 9 times out of 10, um, it actually, it's a, it, the potency sticks. So um, I have seen occasionally it does get resisted, but I don't really see it all that often. So uh, let me see, let me double check if there's anything else important that I'm looking over here. Uh, speed, we talked about that. Potency, uh, tenacity is okay, it's at 38%. So um, when I first did my initial review of Emperor Palpatine, just by looking at his like stats on a website, his my main concern was his speed and his protection and health. Um, speed definitely can get addressed with mods. And um, health and protection, you know, he's got a little bit more, uh, plus 3,000 for health, plus 2,000 for protection. So he's uh definitely more stable if you can just get the speed up that's pretty much all that matters for him in my opinion potency it's already there if you use him as a leader so no need to worry so let's go ahead and um new rebels pack um so let's go ahead and just skip that i didn't do, buy any of the packs uh, they have characters that i don't even need like let's check out the pack here um this people have said some people said that the drops weren't amazing but um some said they're really bad and some said they got a really good role um, the main characters I was interested for when farming my last two characters was Lando and Biggs. Um, but as you know, Lando is on a really easy Cantina node, and you can just get him really fast. I had him at, I didn't even have him unlocked last Tuesday, and just today, I just got him to 7 stars. So that was a really fast farm, and you can tell I'm broke. I have plus 380 crystals, and um, that's, I'm really short on crystals. Luckily, every day I've been making number one in Arena, which has allowed me to find my Cantina uh, farming. So, um... Yeah, so what we're going to do first is, let me see, uh, we're sitting at rank 11 right now, so that's actually lower than usual. Usually I, I sit at about 6 when I got to go. Um, not going to be able to gather award, rewards for this event because we have 5 hours left to go here, and that's when I, I, I'll i be at work at that time. So um, let me go ahead real quick, and I promised you guys an Empire lineup. I know some people have asked me to, you know, let's look at the Empire again, see how good they're doing. So let me go ahead. We're going to strip the mods off of Anakin and... Um, and who's the other one? Ray. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. All right. Yeah, but Anakin, uh, he's just amazing. I uh, haven't really talked too much about him, mainly because um, I wasn't really using him. And then I finally pulled the trigger to finally give him the last piece of gear that I had saved up to get him to gear uh, gear 11. And he is he is just super strong. And his buff immunity comes in handy. And his uh, combo with Royal Guard is absolutely amazing. When someone falls 50% health, um, Royal Guard taunts and Anakin Skywalker comes in with 100% turn meter and all this extra damage. So um, it is, he's pretty deadly. And he's also got, he's not that, he's not slow at it by any means. He's pretty decent uh, in terms of speed. And he has just a lot of health and protection. So great character. And I'm hoping um, with my time that I have, I can do some more reviews on, um, on these characters. Yeah, especially Anakin Skywalker. He's a really strong character. And um, I see people running him as a lead. Um, there was a period of time where everyone was running it. I attempted to do it, but I wasn't too impressed by it. Um, I felt like there was my old Ben. I, I, I was so clean to old Ben. I was using old Ben for months. Like the second he became free to play, I farmed him up and I was using him since that time. So uh, he's he was kind of like my cornerstone from when the, the Jedi were the meta and um, when the Dodge meta. I was even using him when we we're in that weird protection stage and no one knew what was really going on here. So, uh, all right, let me go ahead and pay attention to what I'm doing here. So, uh, for Magma Trooper, um, yeah, because we're going to add Magma Trooper and Grand Moff Tarkin. So, I probably, what I want to do is I want to try to make Grand Moff Tarkin a bit faster because uh, he is by far the slowest character uh, in terms of empires, uh, Empire characters that I have, I believe. I can't remember what uh, Snow Trooper and Storm Trooper is, but in terms of usable Empire characters, he is quite slow. So, let me go ahead and um, try this out. So, uh, plus 13 speed, beautiful. Let's see, what do we got next? Uh, the plus 23%, okay, there we go. 11 speed, 5 speed. I'm looking at the secondary stats, so sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I want to get to the, the good stuff for you guys. But uh, I'm looking at the secondary stats and checking out the speed. So, if anyone has speed, I'm going to go ahead and toss that on. Um, I think I'm going to give him the 23% protection because he needs that more than the other one. Uh, let's see, 8 speed, 5 speed, 8 speed it is. 
And lastly, what do we got? We got five speed and no speed on that one. So let's go ahead, toss some speed on him. So we got him to 144 speed, which is, it's okay. That's usually when, um, <laughs> that's usually when characters, uh, a lot of decent characters start off on that level. So let me go ahead and put that in there. I am getting messaged really hard in uh, my guild right now. I can't release any details yet, but I will, uh, if I'm able to, I'll tell you guys more about why I'm being messaged so much in my guild right now. Um, and let's go ahead and get Magma Trooper. Let's just go ahead and toss a few mods on him. Uh, let's see, some speed. He is definitely one that needs speed. Uh, protection, beautiful. Yeah, right now I'm just going to toss some random ones on it because now I'm kind of running short on mo good mods. So, um, all right, let's see what he looks like now. 135 speed and tons of protection to health. That's the one thing good about Empire characters. They're very bulky, with the exception of Grand Moff Tarkin, Palpatine, and um, Stormtrooper. They are very bulky, and this really helps Emperor Palpatine because one of his abilities is a self heal. So he takes, I believe. Let me let's just go ahead and double check this because he's just an amazing character. Um, Emperor Palpatine, when you use Let the Hate Flow, he gains he gives everyone offense up, and all units lose five percent of their max health. And then he equal, he uh, recovers 150 percent equal of that total loss. So uh, when you have this giant health pool of Empire characters just by themselves, not even thinking about the other team, he he automatically heals himself up to 100 percent. So it's crazy. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, all right, let's see. Um, it's number seven or number eight? Um, let's see. I think this guy has a decent Palpatine as well. Yeah, I usually try to avoid this guy because he has a Palpatine that's slightly faster than mine. And uh, I usually find that my Emperor Palpatine gets stunned all the time. So we're going to go for number 8 uh, with this Phasma lead. Um, only concern that I have on this one is mainly um, is the Fives and the Dooku that they have going on. So let's go ahead and get Grand Moff Tarkin in there. Magma Trooper. And the squad power is 38,000. So that's competable. So the squad power is pretty much it's pretty uh, up there. Um, all of them are at max gear. Uh, except Royal Guard. I've actually uh, I, I've held off on Royal Guard being on max gear. Uh, and I'm finally, since I think I'll be using my Empire characters more thoroughly now, I, um, I'm i going to finish giving him the few pieces he needs. He needs like a scanner and a couple of the little tidbits. So let me go ahead and get this battle going. So let's see, uh, I didn't check anyone's speed, so I think Duke might go first. He shoots uh, Magma Trooper. See, the computer's not the smartest. That's probably not the best idea uh, because Magma Trooper, when he resists, uh, or if he gets it if he gets a debuff on him or if he resists resist it He gets a lot a lot of a turn meter bonus. So let me go ahead and let's do this The animations are just simply awesome for Emperor Palpatine. I just love this. Let's see what we get Four out of five stun now this <laughs> this is what I'm talking about um, This is why Galactic War goes so well for me um, He just he does this is the stun is just absolutely amazing so now, Grand Moff Tarkin, unfortunately, the computer doesn't do this in the correct order. The computer does this middle one, Ultimate Firepower first, from what I've heard, instead of Intimidation Tactics. So for if you're going to run Tar Tarkin with Palpatine, you want to do Intimidation Tactics first, because he's going to go ahead and land um, the offense down on everyone, which then lets him go a second time. And then you go ahead and use this move, which um, sometimes removes turn meter. It's not as often as like Old Ben. But sometimes you do get some turn meter removed. And then here's Fives. Yeah, Fives is Fives is quite annoying. <laughs> he just puts speed down on everyone. So let's go ahead. We're going to work on Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and just keep shocking. And Emperor Palpatine does not hit like a chump. He hits like in the 8,000 and stuff like that. Um, he's kind of like a Ray in some essence because he gets his main attack off. And then his, um, you know, his one of his secondary abilities is to be able to go ahead and uh, do additional damage to Jedi and those enemies who are shocked. So it's quite nice. And um, let me see here. And then, yeah, Magma Trooper comes in handy in this game because when you have characters stunned, I was hoping I could make them a bit faster, but when characters are stunned, they can, um, Magma Trooper will come, go ahead with his uh, thermal imploder and uh, put turn meter manipulation on them. So uh, so they have to kind of stay in that stun state. So you're kind of dragging out that the how much time they're sitting while being stunned. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to just wait. I'm going to see if I can shock Dooku again later because um, he gets a little bit annoying with uh, his little dance here. And I got to speed it up because I'm very excited. I'm talking to you guys about this. And um, I'm not really going as efficiently as I should because I want to make sure I'm explaining my rationale when using Empire characters. 
Um, all right. Whoa, that's actually... He actually got a stun on Magma Troopers. So that's actually quite impressive. Usually Magma Trooper has a very high tenacity, so it's really hard to do that. And because of that, he also got his Emperor stun. Probably going to lose a job after that one. So let's go ahead. In return, we stun Dooku. And... Um, so yeah, so you can see that this is, it's a somewhat successful lineup, but I, I, I can tell the difference right away in terms of um, viability because I'm getting beat a lot more, I'm getting a bigger beating um, compared to uh, my Anakin and Rey combination. So I would really love to do Empire only, but uh, it seems like Magma Trooper and Tarkin, they need a little bit of work to be very, very viable characters. So let's go ahead, do this again. And the good thing about Palpatine, he makes Tarkin useful to some extent because before his intimidation tactic would never, ever, ever apply. So I think, I don't know, but I think they may have um, worked Emperor Palpatine's um, ability so that Tarkin's potency could actually be good because po his potency was so, so low. So let me go ahead and just auto this. I believe we probably just won, so let's see. Um, and yeah, Darth Vader, I've actually seen a lot of top players use Darth Vader, like myself. Um, I'm guessing the reason why is because his computer is actually somewhat usable. See, like, see? There we go. Before, he was so slow, he could never get the um, Force Crush and Coaling Blade together. He could never line them up because he was so slow. Now, the computer's smart enough to know that right after he inflicts all these debuffs, he can go ahead and do his Coaling Blade afterwards. So... He's actually a very useful character now, and I have been using him in my lineup. So there we go. Victory. The Empire crushed this enemy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a slight break. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my mods back on my Ray and Anakin so I can show you what my current team is. And it's a very viable squad that's, um, I feel like, is shaping the meta because I'm seeing, I'm starting to see other people kind of follow what I'm doing. So stay tuned. We'll talk more, and we're going to take on this next enemy. Talk to you in a few. All right, and we are back in action here. So let's go ahead and take out the next person. Oh, look at that. There is a sad, sad old Ben still up here. I think we have to teach him a lesson. Tell him that old Ben's not welcome in the top 10 anymore. His months and months of rain seems like it is coming to a close. Let's just double check what their Stormtrooper Han speed is because that might mess us up. Only 176. We should be okay here, I think. They have two Jedi and a Rebel doesn't look like it's gonna to end too well for them so let's go ahead and put my team I'm doing right now which is Anakin and um, Ray it's kind of cool having Anakin and Darth Vader in the same team it's a uh, it's kind of interesting uh, how this game works where you can put people from like different eras of the movie into the same squad and my Ray after I you know took all those mods off of Tarkin her speed is back up to 209 with uh, all these mods I got so I'm quite happy I really wish I can find those uh, these mods right here that uh, would give her like plus 30 some speed because those are crazy. I, there's one person on my shard that has like one of those for each of their characters. So they're quite fast um, with uh, with all their characters. Uh, so let's go ahead and put Anakin back in and Ray, And I'll show you how these battles normally go with this type of lineup. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, Ray's going to go first. Let's see. Um, let's just go ahead and take care of their Ray. That's kind of the main threat go ahead and shock everyone i'm hoping we get yeah i'm hoping we get um uh uh geez i forgot the name stormtrooper han shock um it's all right you know he got a couple of ability blocks off so let me go ahead and try to put uh, immunity onto uh onto stormtrooper han because he's kind of the main uh main concern that i have here so let's go ahead and try to stun him man he is resisting everything come on Emperor palpatine oh man he is resisting everything I'm throwing his way so that's no fun so it looks like we are gonna have a little bit of trouble here all right all right so far we're surviving normally it goes a little bit better but uh, it looks like today Stormtrooper Han is having some luck with um, avoiding all of my um, my debuffs so let's go ahead and give everyone some offense up here there we go all right come on and oh boy come on it's taking a little bit of yeah this is uh taking a little bit of time all right so let's let's get vader in here force crush and let's see if we can try to go ahead and put some coaling blade on there there we go yeah it's kind of nice uh darth vader is kind of like the, a, a new uh dps character in this game with uh with emperor palpatine serving by his side so we got um we got royal guard going 
and uh, their Royal Guard going. So now we got to go ahead, get through their Royal Guard. Yeah, so this was normally this goes actually a lot easier, but uh, for some reason, um, their Stormtrooper Han resisted a lot and a lot of my debuffs, which is uh, a little unfortunate. Usually, yeah, the, he, you know, I can either stun him through Royal Guard, I can ability block him with Darth Vader, or I'm able to uh, shock him with um, with um, Palpatine. And that's one thing great about Palpatine, in case you guys didn't know. There we go. We got some ability blocks. Let's get to work here. Yeah, one thing great about Emperor Palpatine's uh, basic is that essentially he can put buff immunity, health immunity, um, and like turn meter immunity onto characters. So if you play it right, which in this game it didn't really pan out to be that way. I mean, we still were winning by, you know, quite a great stride here. We just um, Stormtrooper Han kind of put a little, uh, a little uh, ding in our process there. We, we lost Ray. Normally I don't lose Ray unfortunately um but yeah with uh if you play it right you can actually go ahead and neuter tanks like it's so funny what when you if you can go ahead and put shock on their royal guard right away they just they're just dead weight for the other team they're not helping out same thing with like stormtrooper han and um and like uh, sun fact they taunt because they don't know that they they're they got shocked or they have a buff or buff immunity on and they just go ahead and they try to uh, use their taunts and it just it's a wasted turn for the computer so there you have it could have went, went better um, but it looks like um, yeah their stormtrooper hunt actually did pretty well it uh, turned out to be a little bit more of a challenge than I intended but as you can see um, this is actually still a very great squad I got a, I got a couple of good stuns in the beginning um, not as not as many stuns as the last one but he is just a fun character and I'm actually having a lot of fun this game between Galactic War Arena Palpatine is just making this so enjoyable so yeah guys let me know what you think um, if, as you see yeah just kind of breaking this up real quick um, Bubba Flubba he has a very very difficult squad to defeat I've had trouble with it with Wedge, Han Solo, Lando, Stormtrooper Han and Biggs that is definitely a very good squad uh, fighting against this um, slight empire meta that's kind of rising up here but anyways guys let me know how you think about palpatine do you have him do you have him geared is he your favorite character like mine or is he being an annoyance for you guys because that's all you see in your arena uh, i really want to know what you guys think and uh tell me how you're liking this yeah but guys even though i'm busy i'm still sticking around and making videos for you guys so don't worry but yeah leave a like comment subscribe and we'll talk again later peace out